Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And today our question comes to us from Reverend Bill Watson. And Reverend Bill asks what I think of exorcism. And if you've followed my vlogs from uh, any length of time, you'll probably be surprised by what I'm going to say. But in fact, I think exorcism is extremely important and should be part of regular practice. But what does the term exorcism mean? It means to remove negativity. If you come from a background where you do a blessing of uh, water and salt and air and fire at the start of a ritual, what do we commonly say? Of course, people do say all kinds of things, but one of the most common incantations used is, I exercise you, O creature of earth or whatever, of all impurities that may lie within. So in this sense of removing negative energy, exorcism is extremely important. And I think that though it's not the term we commonly use in daily parlance, uh, it is the, uh, the sense of the word that is important here, and removing negative energy is very important. Now, what is negative energy? Negative energy can simply be unfocused energy that is muddied by random emotions and uh, psychic dust, for want of a better way to put it. And it's important to clear that out. It can also sometimes carry a very definitely negative charge from bad things which may have happened uh, or been projected into it. So negative energy can carry a range of connotations, but in general practice, it's going to be the former. And it's still very important to cleanse that muddied energy in order to have good focused, well-directed energy in its place. And whether you're doing this for uh, working elements in a ritual or for a home or for a person, removing negative energy is a very important thing. Cleansing your energy, part of good psychic hygiene, cannot recommend it strongly enough. So in that sense of the word exorcism, I highly approve it and think it's very important. I also don't normally use that term, I would say cleansing. But again, it's basically what the term means uh, in English usage. Now, if what you actually mean is what do I think of the idea of exercising demons in the Hollywood fashion, I think that's nonsense. However, I do recognize that there are phenomena uh, which might make people feel that they are in that kind of situation. Usually, uh, it is something much more minor. Sometimes it's just as bad as if it actually were a demon. But as I am not a Christian, I obviously don't believe in Christian demons and I really reject the whole general idea. When I have seen people claiming to have demonic experiences, what it usually has turned out to be is poltergeist activity, and they simply overreact to it. Poltergeist activity can cause things to move around, even violently. It can cause a variety of negative manifestations, uh, and sometimes simply harmless manifestations as well. It depends on the circumstance. Some recorded poltergeist activities have been quite harrowing for the people who went through them. But it's not an entity, it's energy. And if you cleanse and ground that energy, or you might say exercise it, then that phenomena will cease. Uh, there are other circumstances in which people might also think they're dealing with uh, a Christian-style demon, uh, and one of those uh, is mental illness and a feeling that they are impelled to things that they're not really wanting to do, and so it must be an outside influence. And I don't really see it that way in the Hollywood form. I could believe that it might have to do with imbalance in the chakras, negative energy, a number of other things, but I don't perceive it as an entity, and nothing I have seen has changed my mind on that. And of course, the other reason that you sometimes see people in this situation is they just want to get out of an abusive situation. I remember seeing the film The Occult Experience many years ago, and I watched it because I had an interview with Derry and Olivia Robertson, which was wonderful. And it had several very good segments, and it had one on demonic possession in these little dominionist churches that, that love that sort of thing. And I remember being very shocked, because this was back in the 80s, that these people were manifesting all the symptoms of classical possession that you uh, might see, for example, in a film like The Devils by Ken Russell. 
If you've not seen that film, uh, it's things like writhing on the floor and sticking your tongue out and generally behaving um, in an excessively uh, lewd sort of way. And these people were doing that. It looked just like a scene out of the movie. And that turned out to make sense because afterwards, the filmmakers interviewed the people who had been exercised. And they got one of several different reactions. A number of them said there was nothing wrong with them at all. They just realized that the only way they were going to get out, because they were being detained against their will, the only way they were going to get out was to manifest what these people wanted to see and to pretend to go along with the exorcism. And I think that happens an awful lot. Uh, the second group of people said that they did not think there was anything wrong with them going in, but they became convinced during the experience that something must be because all these other people thought it was, uh, which in my opinion is not convincing. So far from shaking my opinion, this rather confirmed it because the people interviewed basically said, this was something that we were putting on as an act, either because they came to believe it during the experience and they knew what to manifest to convince people and to, and to express their own conviction that uh, they were demonically possessed, or because they knew nothing was wrong with them, but it was the only way they were getting out. And I do not find uh, either of those scenarios in any way uh, changing my mind on this subject. And I think that historically, Again, a lot of cases that um, people have attributed to, quote, demonic possession were mental illness. Uh, others were cases of nonconformists whom they simply could not understand, um, very much like accusations of witchcraft in general. So if you ask my opinion of demonic possession, I don't buy it. Now, it's become very popular in the last 50, 60 years partly because of the work of people like Ed and Lorraine Warren, who quite frankly were charlatans, uh, and also because of uh, the mythology of the Christian dominionist movement, which relies on the idea of demons and everything. If you have a cold, there's a demon in you. If you uh, dress funny, there's a demon in you. Uh, if they don't like the look of you, there's a demon in you, and it's bull. Uh, I think the entire Christian dominionist movement is bull. I think this is one of its worst manifestations. Hollywood has certainly embraced the idea, but Hollywood is about entertainment. And uh, the most notorious example of this is The Exorcist, which was marketed at the time, and I remember the time, as being based on a true story. Except the thing is, if you actually look up the true story, it's very different, nowhere near as extreme and basically, again, a poltergeist experience. And if they'd just known how to ground the energy instead of making this big production number out, out of their mythologies, they would have ended the experience and all would have been well. Another famous example is the Amityville Horror. Now, I do believe that a location can take on a negative charge because of things that have happened there. And that might even be the case with this famous um, house but, once again, when you look into the true story that uh, it was based on, you find that the people involved backpedaled very heavily after the fact and described a lot of wine being involved in how the story came to be told. So, um, so I would not say that there's never a situation where a person might believe that is what's happening, uh, but I would not find that to be convincing. I might, uh, if it were the only way to reach them, use that language to communicate. But what I would be doing is cleansing and grounding their energy. So those are my thoughts on the matter. I hope you find them helpful. And until next time, may you blessed be.